Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What am I going to be talking about today? Well, today, as I usually do with Fake Grand Order, I waited till day roll to see if there was going to be any information about any of the upcoming events. Mo mostly to see if it was going to be face day night um, celebration info was ever going to come out. Because they, <laughs> they did that stream and then they did not bother to tell us the exact start date. So I'm actually going to assume it's in five days when summer ends and... A whole bunch of other stuff but regardless of that i was greeted with something new it was this new summon banner which did not happen on jp which is the arctic summer world edmund dantes pickup summon uh because he was actually in this event he shows up way at the end of the story <laughs> so uh originally i was thinking hey should i do a video on this where i just talk about dantes but i've done a lot of videos just talking about dantes in general and i actually have dantes so I figure why not actually just make a video doing, uh, using him, and that way I can talk about my experience with the character, and if you're interested in going for him, then you can. So that's going to be today's video. Um, feel free to tell me how you did if you went for Dantes, or how you feel about the unit in general. And how do you feel about the the random banner that showed up? I was definitely unexpected, but I probably expect more of this in August now because uh, of how the timeline works. So... I'm actually not going to start by showing him in Arctic Sun World. I'm actually going to start by going into Daily Quest. I'll do this one because it's a basic one. And then I'll pick the supports and then I'll actually go into Dantes in case you don't know what the unit does. I'll gladly tell you. But let me first go here and do the magical quest that is trying to find a ruler Scotty friend in a kingdom of so many, so many extra units in here. There we go. There's one. Uh... Damn, not full skill. Unfortunately, to show off the character at full. Nope. 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 Alright, maybe it's in here. Love this friend system. <laughs> Would really be nice if they added a separate one for ruler. And all the other cat classes as well. Alright, let me do this again. Ed's never been this tough to find a single ruler Scotty friend. There we go. Doesn't matter what they have on their seat. Alright, so in terms of what Dantes does, just to give you a quick rundown, because I have him right here. Here he is in his uh, goth summer outfit. Um, his skills are Iron Determination, which mine is at level 10. It ignores invincibility and increases attack for one turn and debuff resistance for three turns. The attack increase is, I believe, 50% for a single turn. We have Treasure of the Monte Cristo, A+, level uh, level 10, increases MP gain by level uh, 10, 3 turns, and increases MP gauge, and applies a state that removes one buff for one enemy during critical attacks, 3 turns for yourself. The increased MP gauge is 30%, and I believe the MP gauge is 40, but it doesn't actually tell you exact numbers here, but it's a decent amount. Um... Wisdom of the Crisis A level 10 increases one enemy's charge and removes their debuffs uh, and gains uh, crit stars. This is very rarely used if you're using him for looping, but it can kind of come in nice if you're in a quest that actually goes on for a little bit longer. And then his class skills are Avenger A, Oblivion, Oblivion Correction B, Self Restoration, Magical Energy D, and then the Summer Cast, which is a thing he will always get in the summer events because he is a summer unit, so therefore going forward he will always at least at minimum get an additional. Attack increase of 30% and some bond while you're using him during summer. His defense skills is an extra attack boost, the load magical energy level 10, and anti avenger attack up because trust no one, not even yourself on that one. And he is a noble phantom, uh, noble phantasm is to enter Chateau Deef, deals heavy damage uh, and decreases defense um, for three turns. Effect increases based on overcharge and inflict curse. It gives a this also increases based on overcharge. And inflict disastrous curse, which also increases uh, damage five turns to all enemies. And mine is currently at MP level one. And also because of his bond level, I was able to get his second append skill open, which will give me load magical energy, and that will come in very handy. So Dantes, let's go in here. The reason is that you actually need him for load magical energy is because he does not have a 50% MP for himself. If you want to grind him using 50% um, starting MPs for events and for other stuff. You actually need it so you can go here, so you can activate there, and then from there, it's pretty simple. He's a pretty simple, he's actually gone in, um, the thing I've noticed with the new Scotty is that the main thing that was always the problem with him at MP level 1 was that he would never, he would sometimes struggle to get over 50%. And now because of the buffs he's gone into his NP, the buff to his second skill that he got a long time ago, and the fact that Scotty actually doesn't give 
50% to just quick. She actually gives a decent bit more. You can see here, mine's way over 50%. I got no problems for, from, for, for him from this point forward. And, and now that this Scotty's is completely done, I can just swap her out and give him just a little bit more damage with the, the other Scotty. Like you can see here, I don't even need to use all the Scotties I have and all their full skills. So that makes me think that maybe you don't even really need to do the mana uh, mana loading, because that's the reason why I had mana loading, is back when it was just two Scotties and an Oberon, it was kind of needed to make sure that you would always 100% get it, but I feel like now with the the new system he has in place, like you can see here, I'm, I'm not even using the last 50% from, from the caster Scotty at all. Which I feel like was not the case when I was originally using him. Especially at MP level 1. I believe at higher MP levels you can kind of fix that issue, but back in the day you did kind of run into that issue and of course it always depended on what kind of enemy you're fighting. Because if you don't know this, MP gain cannot change based off of what enemy type you are fighting. Some enemy types give more, some of them give less, and some of them give basically the base amount. So it made it so that sometimes his MP gain would be completely... Um different based off of a whole bunch of different factors is what i was trying to say here so yeah that's him doing the basic one and then i wanted to show just one that is slightly higher in in dudes i believe it's in yeah i believe it's in here just to show a variety of different like level things that he goes through i'll use bronze because why not go here once again, the good old fan fun thing. So yeah, I really do feel like with the new two Scotties, it erases a lot of the stuff that I had problems with him beforehand. Which a lot of the problems that I had beforehand with him was at MP level 1 specifically. It was that sometimes he just did not go over the 50%, and I feel like he maybe got a little bit better at that by, um... By the time of the buffs, but then because of the way that Quick was, I didn't really feel the need to use him. But now with Summer Scotty and making him a little bit more buff... I really do feel like it makes him just a bit better. And I believe the C that I'm also giving him, there we go, there's one. The C that I give him here for the base thing is an increase to quick card effectiveness by 10% and MP strength by 10% and begin to battle with MP charge by 50% so that must also be helping him a good amount here. Um, which is the CE choice. Obviously you won't always have that good of a CE on your characters depending on what um, the event is and stuff like that. Uh, but here we go here, as you can see here, basic setup. But you can also see that if I... I can just literally waste one of these. It makes me feel like I don't even need to really use the other one. But for now, I'm going to keep using it. Dumb. Dumb. Actually, I just realized there is something nice that I could do here. Because I could actually probably swap this out for Black Grail and see how that kind of goes for it. So let me try this again, but I'll swap in Black Grail for the next one. Uh, go here. Yeah, 70% feels nice. I also like Dantes as a character in general. I love my boy. I think he's a cool dude. I like when he shows up in summer. I like that they gave him a summer goth outfit. Like, everything about his, I guess, aesthetic look of him being the Avenger, the way he laughs. I love absolutely everything about this character. <laughs> so it just kind of feels nice to be using them again, which I feel like that's what I'm getting the case with a lot of Summer Scotty, is that... Uh, Summer Scotty just basically let a lot of the old dudes in Quick be used again, and because I believe he has... Um, I think his breakdown is two Quick cards, two Arts. I can actually look at that. Yeah, he has two Arts, two Quicks, and uh, one Arts, two Quick, and two Buster. And that can be pretty good, because as you can see here, that means he can take advantage of the 200% um, bonus to Buster damage that he gets from the Summer Scotties. So let me just go here. Go here. Yeah. That should be it. There's no way that these dudes live this. Um, but yeah, um, the 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 two quicks, two buster units have been really gotten a really nice buff from Summer Scotty. So you can see here that was around 68% and 71%. But I think it's because those are all busters, and busters give kind of weak MP gain from what I can remember. Someone told me a long time ago about like what it is and. <laughs> Forgive me, I, I, I forget a lot of the times, because a lot of the times it just doesn't really come up for me. I just get, get lost in the sauce and keep going for it. Um, the one thing I haven't tested so far is that whether or not you actually need the Caster Scotty. I think you could probably make do with just Oberon. 
Um, cause Oberon doesn't give obviously the full 50% to quick, but he does, what he does give is that he gives, um, um, he gives some other MP damage type stuff that might be able to do just a little bit more if you care a little bit more about damage. And I know, again, maybe it's just because of the way I had used them at MP1, it was always a problem of damage whenever it came up with Dantas, and I just feel like I don't have that anymore. So now I've switched over to the Black Rail, now that I've realized while I was going for the team, I'm actually never using Scotty's other ability at all. I'm not using the third 50% uh, charger, so that means that I actually have, like, an opening in it, which lets me do this. Go, go. Go here. Tap on him. And then we'll see where it goes from here. And he needs to at least 50%. If he doesn't make the 50%, we might be in a little bit of trouble. We might be in a little bit of trouble, actually. If that happens, then I might have to use a um, command seal to give him 100%. Okay. Comparable amount. It's just that he gets the same amount, so that means he'd be able to fully utilize all of it. And actually, with this, I just realized I could have switched out Caster Scotty and given it to him from turn one, actually. Huh. And I can use hers here because I I doubt it's ever going to come up. But if it ever does come up, the situation of like, maybe I want those crit stars at the end. It's so funny when it's like, oh yeah, she gives crit stars, which can be very useful in a lot of scenarios. But when you're actually in full looping with um, quick, you very rarely need crit stars past turn two or three. As you can see there, like 72. 83 to God damn, man. Good hell. Right here. Then may as well just for a little bit more damage. I'll just go here. Might as well. I realized I was like, I'm gonna make a mighty chain. I didn't realize that I, my ass did not make a mighty chain there at the end. Chateau Deep. Not bad. But still a comparable amount of NP return on that one. 71%. I think the last one was at 50 ish percent. It was over 50. But there we go. And finally, this is the last one we're going to be using him on. Because, like I said, he is always in summer. He is a summer unit. He is a summer goth. He is a summer man. He is a man of the summer. So it's time to bring him in to an actual Arctic quest. And this is an... Ex the reason I saved this one for last is because... Um, for pretty obvious reasons. One, I'm already done with it. Two, uh, he kind of has a bonus damage here. <laughs> so he a lot of his... Uh, yeah, you can see here, this is this C is giving him up a 200% damage up, and then also he's getting a little bit of bonus from 30%. Oh, that's a lot, there's a lot of fucking damage on the guy. So, we'll go here, and we'll make quick work of whatever the hell is going to show up here. I really doubt anything. If anything, now, I feel like I might actually like more additional NP copies, just simply because you'd be able to um, get a little bit more out of some stuff. What was, the, what was I trying to say here? I'm so scared about sometimes. Gabbardy. Um. Hit him up with that Chateau D for a quick. So, yeah, I think Dantes is a really good quick unit. I think he's pretty solid. I don't think I have to worry too much about the idea that he's not good enough. I feel like with Scotty a lot of the time now, it's only going to be in really weird specific scenarios where he's just not going to work out. Like, even here. Remember how I said, like, oh man, this is a really weird node with all this, all the troubles here? He don't care. Dantes don't care. He literally has two backup ones. <laughs> what, what does it matter? I didn't even hit him with the, the third quick card here. So he's just gonna slice the super out of was like, yeah, whatever. Nice. Nice single. Oh no, I only have 20%. What am I gonna do with my 100% charge that I have left over? It ain't gonna be good enough. Alright, let me slap him up real quick. Sorry, Europa, you don't deserve this. But you are here, unfortunately. Therefore, you're gonna get the last laugh out. Get laughed at. There we go. Funny enough, he didn't do as much damage as he did against those- Oh, but it might be because there was only two enemies there. That might be it, the case. I was like, hmm, that feels a little bit low on damage, but I realize now it's, it's probably because there's only two enemies. <laughs> if there was a third one there, he would have done a decent amount of damage to include it all. Forgot, my bad. But anyway, that's Dantes. I really like him. I think he's a good unit. Should you summon for him, I think that's only something that can really be decided by you. Um, obviously, there's a lot of good quick units, especially now, actually, funny enough. 
Um, hmm? There's a good one upcoming, and then there's a good one now. Because he's still here. Domin is still in the banner. So, I don't know. I know, I know. me personally, I would much rather have a Dantes over Domin, but that's a character thing. In terms of usability, there's no denying Domin is one of the best, if not the best, quick AoE unit in general. That can also be transitioned into tra like um, challenge quests and stuff like that. Um, so, obviously, if you're going to go for a quick unit to kind of go if you're Summer Scotty, it would make the most sense to get Doman, especially because all the benefits that I said about Dantes of like, oh, he's a Summer unit, he's always going to have that buff to him. That also applies to Doman, and in general, just Doman is a more modern unit with a lot of the stuff that he does. Um, a lot of the buffs that he can give, and he can also be used in a lot of other team comps. The thing about Dantes is that as I was using him, he's a very greedy unit. You really, the team is focused on him, and as long as you're focused on him, everything's fine. But the second he falls, then the team also falls. <laughs> I mean, that might be a little bit different now with Summer Scotty, though, because Summer Scotty is also an AoE unit, so maybe in a pinch she can kind of be used for hitting him up. But you can see what I'm saying here. Um, and in terms of the other things, it's like my brother said in the background, there are other AoE ones. The big one is obviously Guda Guda, which is not going to be happening until September, which, you know, you have to start saving. It's a month away, but that's one of the big ones coming up. And then you can also just think about this. Summer Scotty also is a perfectly good AoE quick unit, especially for someone who is like saving up for some units in the future. Scott, Summer Scotty is a very funny unit in that she's the only one of these units who says, I can do it myself. I say that knowing full well that Koyan Sky can also do it herself, but I feel like she doesn't do as much damage as Summer Scotty does. But maybe that's just my bias. <laughs> I feel like every time I've ever used um, Koyanskaya as like the AoE for um, Assassin, she did not come off as as with as much damage as I would have wanted. I had to use like Black Rail specifically to kind of get things done, but you know, maybe I'm, again, like I said, just a little bit biased in that assertion right there. But anyway, that's Dantes. I really like him. I think he's a cool dude. Um... Nothing much more to say. And also, Sox Sigma Behemoth is on here, and so is Mysterious Highway XX. I think those are also. Mysterious Highway XX is definitely a, a really good unit. I unfortunately have never been able to actually use a Sigma Behemoth in any context ever. <laughs> but I do have her. <laughs> and, um. And I do like her summer outfit, and maybe that's good enough for some people. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Best of luck if you do decide to summon, and if you don't. Good luck continuing saving, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.